Hello everyone, I'm Sadie and welcome back to my channel. This video will be the first video in my series of beginner star stable editing. And in today's video, we will be talking about how to take good quality photos. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, we are first going to talk about finding a good reference photo. What I mean about referencing is that you're going to reference the anatomy. As you start editing, you will know literally nothing. And it always looks better if you reposition like a trot and so on. So um, here is an example of a good reference photo. You can find a lot of them on Pinterest. I quickly want to leave a disclaimer. So what I mean about referencing the photo, we're going to reference the anatomy. Or we're going to actually copy the anatomy as you can't sell any star stable edits so if you use the anatomy from a photograph you're not stealing from the photographer you're not stealing from star stable or anything you're making edits just because you enjoy that or for your RP story you're not going to stand and make money off any of these things so it isn't illegal to use these photos in order to create the images it's only illegal if you start selling star stable edits that violates star stable conditions and also if you're just literally tracing and copying from an image you're also stealing from the photographer so that's a big no-no and i also just wanted to leave that as a disclaimer here that is not where we are heading for this video we are talking about just normal editing for fun and just improving your drawing skills so here is a good photo Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going just to look at how the horse is positioned. We're not going to copy the, photogra the photograph in any way or anything. We're just going to see how the legs work and stuff. So in this image, there isn't really legs visible, but you can see the whole, how the hair works and how the hair flows in the wind as well as where the shadows are supposed to be. So the first thing you want to do is actually to pick a horse for this image um, or for any, any image you want to create. So it can be any horse, but if you find a horse, like if you see the Frisian Gallop doesn't really look like that that horse and also the head and stuff. So it would be it would be a bit weird if you want to use the Frisian on that type of breed horse. If you want to you reposition a Frisian, you obviously need to find a photo of a Frisian to see how they work. So let's quickly go in here and I'm going to see what horse most resembles this. I'm thinking it might, it might be the Andalusian. So let's quickly go get my Andy, the brown one. Okay, and then I always head out. I don't like taking photos in here because the light lighting is a bit weird and stuff and that makes editing the shadows kind of hard if you're still starting out. So what I usually do is I go actually just right here because this is a flat surface. You don't want to be on angles and stuff because then you can see it kind of throws a weird, you know, weird angle. So I go on this flat surface and I can see that that would probably be a slow gallop or a full gallop. So we're going to quickly go there and we see that the leg is in front. Okay, so there I missed it, I missed the spot. And also another tip, I usually try to take the photo of the side um, where the horse's mane isn't flowing over the neck. Because if we look at this, I can draw my own hair in here and the neck is um, like underneath it, if you know what I mean. But if you go from this side, you need to edit out the hair. And if you don't want, example, any hair here, then this wouldn't work. You need to really draw everything in. So it's just easier if you use a neck that it doesn't have. So that's just a tip I usually, I usually look for. So let's try that again. Okay, so let's quickly look at this photo and how it resembles the image up above. So we can see that this front leg is also in front, but not you can see much of the, the leg, but we will be able to like cut this out and paste it where it needs to go. We also have a nice shoulder that we can edit. This neck will be able to morph and the head. I usually don't edit the head too much because then it gets weird, but I'll show you in the next video um, the whole repositioning process. We're just going to first talk about how to take the good photo and how to see um, if this photo will work for editing. So the head in the front, I'm kind of happy with if we go to the back. Also, the bum is quite nice in this photo as well. You can use this um, pot right here and we can just draw in that little black for the behind leg. 
so what I do is I usually feel the view is your like this is your baby you want to use I usually um you see I don't really need the legs so I would actually just zoom in full way if I cut out the hooves it's fine because we don't need those so the more you cut out like it's better for you to zoom in all the way because you can get much more detail and then it isn't so pixelated so that's the first thing is I always put my field of view very closely and only cut out I would probably go till there because we we need this and we need this so I'll probably do this and then zoom in just a little bit more then I always go to time of day and I see what lighting fits the situation best so I once it at dusk I would probably like go here and see if I can get like a pink hue see it makes this it makes the coat color it changes the coat color you see that's darker blue for at night so that also helps if you're a beginner because you really don't know lightning that well light lighting not lightning oopsie um that also helps me so um for this i'll just use a normal lighting because i want to put in my own i'm not sure where i'm going to go with this image but um but let's do this see that's you can see how it shifts that's just a normal backlighting maybe. Okay, yeah, everything is well lit. Then I just like go from the side and there we go. I take the image. So I usually, what I also do is I always take a background uh, because I like to edit my horse and my background on different layers. And it's hard if you don't have a background, like if you, if you say you want to take a photo with this bush. I would take a photo of this bush and then I would take a photo of the horse in the bush because um, it's hard if you want to maybe Gaussian blur all these. You can't because you're going to Gaussian blur the horse as well. Even though if you cut out the horse, the edges make this like smooth thing. It just looks weird. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but if you do, thank you. <laughs> so um, let's just think what the background would look nice with this. Okay, I'm thinking about taking a photo here. We obviously need grass, so we can't do it on sand or ground because we're not referencing referencing any legs. So we need long grass, we need to draw that in. So I'm thinking maybe here with the Silver Glade Castle in the back. So let's see. Um, so Sable really made it easier with the new update about that you can hide these and look at the bee. <gasps> look at the bee, that's so cute. Okay, <laughs> so... Um, for backgrounds that might be a problem but i'll just fix it maybe we'll add in our own sky i don't know i don't know is this where this image is going to go i actually like this little bee here okay so remember for a background so we i always just feel the view in it just makes the quality better this will work imagine the horse is right here there you can see so you can just like reposition it so you can zoom in a bit we can zoom out a bit because we need to blur a few grasses here. So you know the horse is standing right there. We'll have a few grasses growing here. And maybe blur out things in front. And we can just hide this again. So the horse is going right there. And we're going to blur this background as well. So go ahead and take that picture. Also make sure if you wanted to do a picture at night that you do choose your time of day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. In the next video, we will be looking at the repositioning and I will be using my Apple Pencil, my iPad and Procreate. So I will see you again next time. Bye.